Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tyler here. Today I want to introduce you the lost art in the desert, Dunhuang. Dunhuang is another city in Old Silk Road. It is famous for its small gold grottoes and the Dunhuang murals. Dun means big and Huang means prosperous. So Dunhuang means the big prosperous city in the west region of Asian China. Dunhuang reached its peak in the prime Tang Dynasty. It was the trade center of the Western world and China. All different kinds of culture were gathered in here. Asian China, Asian India, Asian Greek, and Central Asia. Although most of the scrolls and the scriptures were taught by British, France, Russia, Japan, and America, we still can reveal the lost art from the 4430 square meters of murals in the Mogok grottoes. Now I'm gonna introduce you some souvenirs from the Dunhuang Museum to show you the art of these murals. Okay, the first one is a notebook. It's just like other notebooks you can buy. The cover image is actually the setting point. This image is inspired by the mural of the Cave 112 South Wall. And then the designer drew the image in the pop art style. The three colors that the cover used are all from the original mural, red, sai, and gold. The size of this notebook is 18 by 13 centimeters, 1.8 centimeters thick, total blank pages inside with good texture, shielding hardcover and the round edges. And uh, here is the name of Dunhuang. Here is four Chinese characters, which means gift of Dunhuang. Okay, after we reviewed this notebook, here is the question. How do you answer your friend if he asks you this? Wow, your notebook is so pretty. What is his pattern on the cover? Let's hear the comments from the professors. This This is a beautiful 这个匪夷所思的造型让舞蹈演员们惊叹不已手是在后边反弹的姿势身体是大幅度的前倾这个腿呢是膝的最前最前那么胯是往后推为什么要往后推胯这是一个舞蹈说明他很懂舞蹈这个画家那时候的人可能不像我们现在那画速写啊他肯定
The pattern is inspired by the Sukhavati murals in the cave. And then the designer drew the pattern in the Baroque art style. Sukhavati means the paradise of bliss in Buddhism. The heavenly music is always ringing. The flower rain is all over the sky. It is paved with gold and decorated with seven kinds of treasures. There is no pain or sorrow there, only joy and happiness. The four Chinese characters in the middle is extreme, happy, flourishing world. These two words are Dunhua, and uh, this creature with the human head and the bird body is called Kalavinka. It is the Buddhist bird living in the Sukhavati world. It is the ancestor of music and uh, it can sing the most beautiful songs in the world. It can swagger around the Buddhas and wander among the band and the dancers. Their songs echo in the Sukhavati world every day to entertain all the Buddhas. The size of this mouse pad is 30 by 70 centimeters. It is made of rubber and moody spandex. Exquisite edges and a good texture. The material is anti-skid and water absorbable, so you may not want to spill your drink on it. The fourth one is a canvas bag. The theme of this bag is called the Buddha-like youngsters, which means the young people who have seen through the vanity of life. It's close to slackers. The Buddha-like youngsters have no desires, no needs, and no expectations for their life. Because they have a lot of pressures on them, the lowest salary, the insanely high house price, the endless daily work, the nagging from their parents, the detached friendship with their friends, and finally, they choose to let them go and become a bull-like youngster. The eighth Chinese characters in the middle of the bag is bull-like youngsters. Everything follows karma. And this figure is the statue of Ananda in Cave 45, West Wall, South Side. Ananda was the regular attendant of Sakai Moon, who is the founder of Buddhism for 25 years. So he had learned the most wisdom of Buddhism. And according to the records, Ananda was a really young and handsome man. So he had a lot of female followers, including nuns and general women. The size of this canvas bag is 33 by 39 centimeters, made of 16 ounce canvas. It's pretty durable. You can carry your books or laptop with it, and uh, there is a small pocket on the side, so you can put your phone or makeup in it. another canvas bag. It is bigger and more fashionable than the white one. And then the pattern on this bag is from a famous mural of Cave 257, West Wall. It tells a story about karma. A bad guy got what he deserved. Now I'm gonna introduce you the nine colored deer story by showing you the original mural. Dunhuang Mogok Grottoes is the treasure of all humankind and all the murals and the statues are digitalized so that everyone can appreciate the Dunhuang art online. You can just type in the web address e-dunhuang.com and then search the cave you want to see. In this case, we can set the language as English and then sign up for an account so that we can get a better image. And then just input the decay number 257 and search. The nine colored deer mural is on the west wall. And uh, here is the mural. The deer found a man drowned in the water, so she saved him. The man kneeled in front of the deer to thank her for saving his life. 
the deer wanted him to never tell anyone about her existence. The man agreed. On the other side, in the palace, the queen had a dream that she finally hunted the deer down and then made a coat out of the deer skin. After the queen woke up, she asked the king to hunt the deer. Just then, the man who had drowned came to report to the king that uh, he knew where the deer was. So the king just brought his army to hunt the deer. When the king met the deer, the deer told him about the truth of the man who had drowned. And uh, at this moment, the man got abscesses all over his body and died. It turned out that uh, the nine-colored deer is the previous life of Sakyamuni, the founder of Buddhism. This story wants to tell people about karma. The bad guy will finally get what he deserves. If you are interested in this story, you can watch this 25 minutes animation film made by Shanghai Animation Film Studio in 1981. It is definitely a masterpiece. I already added the English subtitles and posted it on YouTube. Okay, after the deer story, let's check out the bag again. It is about the same size as the white one, 38 by 34 centimeters, but it is 10 centimeters wide, so it can contain more stuff. And the lining is silk. Two snap buttons on the side with the beautiful pattern and the story on the back. I would definitely recommend this black bag rather than the white one. Okay, the sixth one is a square silk scarf. It is also the nine colored deer theme. It combines the Dunhuang murals and the Baroque art style. Pretty beautiful, huh? It is 53 square centimeters large, made of natural mulberry silk, HD printing, and the exquisite edges. three kinds of postcards. The size is 16 by 10 centimeters, pretty thick. It has gold stamping process and the round edges. This one is the dancing posture of playing peepaw behind the back. I mentioned it earlier. And this one is the camel team. During the Prime Tang Dynasty, the camel teams mainly consisted of soldiers. They traveled between the town capital Chang'an and the second largest city of Uzbekistan, Samarai. And the Dunhuang is a very important post station during the business trip. They brought gems, makeup powder, and the silk fabrics from Central Asia to Chang'an, and then brought back the silk and the porcelains back to Central Asia or even Rome. This one is the landscape of Dunhuang. The mountain behind is called the Sand Singing Mountain. It would make a sound when the wind blows at it. And the lake in front is called the Crescent Lake. The lake is surrounded by the mountain, but the lake has never been covered by the quicksand for thousands of years, because when the wind blows, the sand will go up from the bottom to the top of the mountain due to the unique terrain. That makes it a desert spectacle in Dunhuang. However, in the 1970s, the Crescent Lake gradually shrunk down due to the destruction of surrounding vegetation and the soil erosion. A Taiwan band named the FIR heard the news and created a song named the Crescent Bay 
inspired by the disappearing crash note. This song is about the disappeared love. If you have someone deep down in your heart and you know that you two will never go back together again, then you should listen to this song. It is written for you. I already translated the lyrics and posted the MV on YouTube. Alright, these seven products basically covered all the fun stuff that I want to share with you. If you want to learn more about the Dunhuang, you can watch the referred documentaries on my channel. There are all English subtitles available. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. I also posted these items on my website, unravelchina.com. If you want to learn more about China, you are more than welcome to check out my website. In the next video, I will introduce you some Suzhou embroideries. They are all handwork and some of them are royal only. I'll see you next time.